Hey guys, it's Will here with Devouring Twigs, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a large praying mantis habitat. Um, sorry about this lighting. It's really bad. It won't be like this whole video. Actually, it might be because I'm really bad at this. So, yeah, so let's get started. Alrighty, so first I'm going to start by cleaning off the cage because, like, it's pretty dirty in there, as you can see, because it was used as our first hermit crab cage. So, yeah. We're going to start cleaning this off. I hope our hose is connected because I'm going to need this. So let me just set this up somewhere real quick. So I have the hose and I'm literally just going to clean this out. So yeah. Alrighty, so I finished washing this cage out. It's a lot cleaner now. So now I'm gonna go dry it off with a towel or something just to make sure it's all dry, ready to go. Alrighty, so now I am drying off this thing because I just washed it. And yeah. Alrighty, so we're back in the room, and it's time to start setting up the cage. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brick of the eco-earth and set it in here to let it, like, moisten up. So I'll film this process right here. Okay, so I have my little station set up, and yeah, you can just watch me get this eco-earth already, so let's begin. So I'm literally just adding a gallon because this brick needs like one gallon of water, and like in a few minutes, about 30-ish, it should be completely substrate. So, yeah. So we'll just let that sit there for a little while. So the Eco Earth finished like doing its thing. So now it's kind of just like dirt and stuff. So it's a little moist. So I'm going to have to let it air out tonight. But I can start making the video. Well, I can start decorating it with like fake plants and stuff. Like, okay, so if you are getting a praying mantis or found a praying mantis from your backyard that's native to where you live, you can go ahead and take stuff out of your backyard. You can even like use dirt from your backyard. But if you're getting a praying mantis like offline and you're not really sure if it's native, I highly suggest getting some sort of substrate that's like from pet stores or something and using fake plants so that. The, the diseases that are in your certain area don't affect your praying mantis and bugs that could possibly be living in your um, area don't affect or kill your mantis. Alright, so we finished all the substrate and got that all set up and now it's time to add decorations. So let me get those. Alrighty, so I have all of my little climbing toys thingies. I'm just gonna wash them off really quickly so that they are not too dirty when they go into the thing that this is cage. Yeah. Some water. Oh, okay, it's fine. <coughs> okay, so this is just like a coconut fiber thing that we bought for the hermit crabs, but it kept falling down in their cage. So we're gonna try it on this um this kind of mantis because it's just like a wall 
Because the penguins have been getting can't find glass, and I'm putting it in glass. The penguins are super smart, yeah, I know. Um, but it's fine. So we're just gonna do this so at least you can climb one of its walls. Yeah. So this is that. And this is dry getting washed. Because it needs to be washed. Okay, so let's just have everything sit and dry for a second and I'll show you when it's all done. So let's just let everything sit and dry for a moment and I'll show you when it's all done. Alrighty, so we have all this stuff there about dry. Um, they'll dry off in the cage because the, the cage needs to dry off too. So, um, I got some chopsticks because, like, some sticks that aren't from outside because I'm afraid of diseases. So, we have these sticks, chopsticks. So, yeah, that was added. Um, so I think I'm going to start with the coconut fiber here just a second. Okay, so, um, let's start by putting this up here in the back and trying to see how that fits already so it's a little big but it is something for it to climb on so let's just tuck it down there make it like fit a little bit better and so it can actually stay in the cage so now we have this wall so the praying mantis can just climb up that Let's, let's add this. So there's a little suction cup on this thing, so but we could just, like, attach it. Question mark, is it going to stay? Okay, so that's not going to stay, so let's just have that like that so it can climb up to the top. And then we'll have little plants down here that it can climb on. And then... Let's use these sticks for like molting, kind of, so if they can like kind of like stick into there, yeah, kind of like that, and then like maybe over here, kind of, is that look good? No, okay, so, that like, like that, question mark? So it can like hang from there to molt. Yeah, I don't really have much stuff for it. Um, but that's okay. It just needs a lot of places to climb. And I think this coconut fiber thing is pretty good for that. So, and that needs places to molt. So I'll probably mold off those or like hang from over here or something. So, yeah, that's the cage. Now we gotta do roofing. So, yeah. Alrighty, so like now I have the whole cage set up here. It's just like in a corner of my room. And I added some stuff. So I just pushed some mesh screening on the walls because the praying mantis I'm getting can't climb glass, sadly. So I just made it so you can climb, set this up a little bit differently so that, um, because it didn't really fit on the walls. And then I have like this humidity gauge uh, to like check the humidity. And then I have this thermometer to make sure it's just the right temperature, which it looks like it's is. So it's good in there. So, um, yeah. And then also I made this lid. It's literally just like mesh screening, duct taped down nothing really special to it. I, I, I mean, it falls apart a lot, but it works. It fits on pretty nicely. Wait, one second. My thermometer just fell. It needs to be up here because I need to check the temperature all over the cage because my praying mantis involves a lot of heat. By the way, it hasn't come yet. It's coming tomorrow or Friday, May. 26th or something. Also the day I get out of school. Pretty exciting. Okay, so um, yeah, so it fits on pretty nicely and then it's like the inside. I think my, no, just kidding. Um, that's the inside sides. Um, 
Yeah. Also, I added a heat pad to it. It's on the bottom down there. I did have it on the side, but it wasn't heating up as I wanted it to. So, I put it on the bottom, and it seems to be working a lot better. So, yeah. Okay, so that's how you make a large praying mantis habitat. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, and I will answer all of them. Also, my brother made a video on how to make a small praying mantis habitat, so that will that link will be in the description, or you can just find it on our channel because we have like two videos now. So, yeah. Alrighty. Have a great day. I am Will with Devouring Twigs, and I will see you next time. On and